What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Apologize if my voice doesn't sound the greatest. Had a rough day, but I'm here anyway. And to be honest with you, I thought you guys were going to vote for this to be done as a sport, but instead you asked for the full commentary. So I will do as my audience obliges and sit through this 22 minute 6 a.m. spaghetti and meatballs mukbang. I can only imagine the horrors that, that await. So I'm. Literally about to hit play. I'm getting the old introduction here, which, as much as she makes on YouTube, she should have a much better intro than this. And again, who are the foodie beauties? 6 a.m. thumbnail pose. We've got pasta, a juice box, and some grated cheese. She does not look happy. I'm sorry. She looks miserable. She looks like. If I'm being honest, she's going through the motions of what she has to do. She's talking about going back and doing the 5 a.m. mac and cheeses. But she knows she shouldn't be eating this and it excites her. I believe fully that she's doing this because Sal is asleep and he can't see that. And this is kind of something we used to see with Natter. She would kind of eat a little bit of food around him. And then as soon as he was gone, she would be on the channel eating everything in sight. She mentioned her day was busy and then hectic and then dialed back. She's pouring parm on here. She's struggling with the parm. Well, we just did an edit. She took the lid off the parm and oh my goodness. Now, I like Parmesan cheese. Another edit. So two edits in, we're not even a minute and 20 seconds in. Come on now. She's telling us how she made everything. She didn't bake this. She assembled this. She cooked prepackaged meatballs and store-bought sauce with noodles. That's not baking. That's assembling prepackaged products. This amount of Parmesan cheese is just disgusting. I mean, at this point, if we go back of what I'm looking at now versus what we just saw with the mac, cho with the mac sauce on the burger, this is her making herself into a spectacle. She also added onions into this. But this has got to be gritty based on the spaghetti. She's just laughing at it. And I don't... She added shredded cheddar to this? She's taken her first bite. Three... She chewed three times. Three times. It was a whole spoonful. She's really struggling with finding where the food is based on all this parm. She's asking if we've done this, and if we haven't, we need to add it to our bucket list. I, I would offer that, you know, if you work third shift, it possibly could happen, but doing this is certainly um, expediting your bucket list, if you understand. She's just gotten another massive forkful. You know what amazes me is her ability to constantly talk about other foods while she's eating. For someone, again, that claims to be a foodie, and I don't know how this one juice box is going to hold her over this whole meal, but that Parmesan cheese has got to make the salt content in this meal outrageous. But she's literally talking about like an Olive Garden-esque restaurant in Canada in front of all of this food. There is a massive spoonful here. I'm going to count the bites. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Oh my god, six bites and it's gone. Th this is not normal. She does like the meatballs. Of course, I don't even know how she can say it's delicious. Because I don't believe that she's actually chewing it enough to get the true flavor from it. I will say the food looks exceptionally hot as she blows on it, but... She's saying when she goes to the restaurant, she just tells them to leave the parm on the table. What? I, I, she didn't chew the third bite. I, I wonder if that is a tooth issue. I wonder if that's a jaw issue. But at this point, it, it's clear. She's just not taking the first step of digestion. She's putting up another image of food. 
I don't, I don't watch a lot of mukbangs. Somebody has to let me know. Is this normal behavior? Do people do mukbangs and talk about other food? I thought the, the concept was to, like, share a meal with someone, have a discussion with someone, and eat the food. But this is really just her reliving past meals. It's so weird. She's got another fork full. And again, you can just tell she has no concept of what she's going to talk about. She's uh, went to a commercial. Something popped up on the screen, but I, I really couldn't see what it was. It, I saw the word hamster, but that was about it. So I'm getting a full 15-second ad for Yingling. The oldest brewery in America because they bought the Strolls breweries. Random hamster break. So th this to me is filler. She's showing hamster food. Extreme hoops, small animal treats. Her hand is so inflated. Is she doing this to get back in the good graces of taking care of an animal? After all the pushback from the concept of bringing a cat over or getting cats? And why is she talking like this? Now, just randomly back to her eating. And just moaning. She's never going to make meatballs again because she can just buy these. Is that not the story of her channel? You know, why, why put effort into something and try to make it myself if I can just buy it? Another just... I can tell you right now, the stills in this video are going to be incredible. With her just downing this. She has already put a huge dent in this pasta. She just talked about being out with him all day. Okay, well, the reason she doesn't seem to enjoy it is because of the heat. She has to run the AC all the time when they go out. Which is sad. I mean, she's supposed to be out enjoying herself and clearly... Her size limits what she can do. I mean, I, I mentioned in my last video, it's 110 degrees there. It's uncomfortable no matter what size you are. But I'm sure at her size, we, we've heard the breathing. But uh, imagine sitting there, you know, being concerned about how you're going to handle your day and the weight that you have, the heat that's there, and you're just carb loading. She's mentioning the couples channel, which as I mentioned not a lot of content going up on that. She's literally sitting here talking about Kuwait street food. There's a whole bunch of food that I want to try. Knowing at this point, that food is going to have to be brought to an air-conditioned car so that she can eat it. Because she's incapable of walking down the street to get it. I hate to even begin to say, but this... She's putting on more cheese. She's putting on more cheese. I, I would love to know how much of that container was used. At this point, in, in all fairness, I understand the concept of making food at home and maybe trying to make a healthier version or having control over the ingredients or the portions, but you might as well just go out and eat at this point. Like, you've spent a ton of money on Parmesan. You probably have just as much caloric intake in the Parmesan cheese that you've used than you would if you actually went to a regular restaurant. And going back to the Big Mac, she probably used just as much burger sauce there than the whole Big Mac calorie would have been to begin with. So what are, what is the point of this? Just eating at 6 a.m. to eat at 6 a.m. and look absolutely miserable in the process? Another edit. She literally edited while twirling the spaghetti with a meatball. And there's just not much more chewing with the meatball than without the meatball. At least she is cutting the meatball. But I gotta say, this is boring and depressing. I wish we could like make a word like bore pressing. That's what this video is. She said she said this before. She really just went back to why not spaghetti and meatballs for breakfast. Chantal, because most people don't want to start their day with a giant heavy meal like this. Because most people don't have the luxury 
of sitting around all day and literally doing nothing but doing nothing. I mean, your day right now seems to be consumed with watching. She's putting on more Parmesan cheese. And she almost has this smirk while doing it. It, it makes me think that she's doing it intentionally. But who are you really hurting here? It's yourself, right? Like, is it worth hurting yourself to look like a, to look like a troll? I mean, is it really? I just don't think it is. And I offer, if Salah was awake, what exactly would he say to this? Because we've seen him really want to take steps to making her healthier. And she has put away half this plate in half this video. And there is no slowing down. I would say most of the meatballs have been eaten. She's, she's moving the plate closer. I've noticed that she's very territorial about food. Not not just what she gets, but what other people have. And even when there's clearly no one around, she is almost trying to eat this as fast as possible. And she's mentioning the onions that she put in with this, which, yeah, you know, to be honest with you, probably not that big of a deal putting some onions in. I mean... You could have really made this with zucchini and probably been a lot better off, but I'll be honest, as much cheese as you put in this just from Parmesan, giant edit again, what are you editing in this? I, I can't imagine, but if you had made, you know, zucchini noodles, I don't think you would have really been able to tell any difference with the amount of cheese that's on this. And she is just continuing to... Do the most damage to this poor plate of spaghetti. I'm I'm actually enthralled in this to know if can she eat the entire thing. She's talking about her modest dressing and how if she had to go back to the way things were before it would be so weird. And wearing no makeup. Chantal, we, we've seen the filter use. Right? It, to me, I wonder if you don't live through the filtered lens so much that you forget what things look like. And she talks now about how transitions don't happen overnight. Well, she just takes a massive... I mean, it's just a disturbing bite. It, it's not a bite of someone that likes food, that wants to enjoy it. It's a, some, it's a bite by someone that's just trying to eat the most food possible to get attention from the viewer. And, and now she's like, oh, this is so cheesy. Of course it is. You you literally put at least a, a quarter, if not a third, a bottle of Parmesan cheese on into pasta that already had cheddar cheese into it. This, I'm telling you, I, I don't like to talk about the comparisons that this makes, but there's a definite comparison here that is not comfortable when we all know what happened before. She's talking about a salad that she made now. And she's talking about the cheese, the dill and the and the feta. And Salah didn't like the salad because it was too too sour. But he also didn't like a lot of the croissants that she had at the bakery. Salah seems, I will say, to have a very tempered eating plan. He almost seems to set limitations for himself and then stick with them. And even when offered more or offered something different, he, he doesn't take it. The croissant was a great concept of he just took the end of the croissant. Now, granted, that's all she offered to him, but she's talking about the consistency of the Parmesan cheese making things creamy. But in the beginning, I said there's no way that that makes anything creamy. Parmesan is such a hard dense cheese that's why it's grated i mean you can get it shredded you can get it i have another commercial here you can get it shredded you can get it um like shaved but it's such a high temp melt i can't imagine that it's making it creamy just for a timestamp, i am at 1340 she mentions that there's more than one juice box which she's dropped and i'm sure those are just sugar packed juices and she can't reach it She's trying to. Now, why wouldn't, in all sincerity, why wouldn't you edit this part out? 
right? We have no idea what got edited before, but, you know, 30 seconds of her trying to finesse a juice box over doesn't get edited. You're supposed to be a professional YouTuber here, a professional vlogger, and, and this is what you've reduced yourself to. I don't know if it's just me, but I think maybe since more people have brought attention to it, I don't know if it's swelling in her hands or not, but... Oh, she just scraped the plate. It was so loud. Again, something most people would edit out. You know, metal on a, you know, china plate, making the loudest screech possible. And that stays in. But random stuff in the beginning, no, that can't stay. We're practically to the end of this. I guess there's one meatball left here. She's cutting it in half. She needs to find more of a formula. Pick a topic. There's a lot. I can hear people talking in the background. I wonder if her facial expressions change. She was just talking about how she needs to grow up while she sits at 6 a.m. and eats spaghetti for a YouTube video that, as of right now, let me see how many people... 10,000 people in just about a day have watched. And if they go and run errands, she's reiterating she has to stay in the car, sipping her drink. Shouldn't this be like a wake-up call well before now? Like, if you're married, you're happy with your husband, you want to do things together, but you can't get out of the car... You know, and she's writing this off as, well, Sala just wants me to be comfortable. Do you really think that's what he wants? Oh, jeez. She's talking about a heat stroke. And she's talking about the fans at the bakery being deceptive. But, of course, they're, they're only going to blow the air that's there. It's not a miracle worker, Chantal. It's not air conditioning. It's simply circulating air. And clearly, her expectation was... That it was cool air. But the people that live there are so used to this that it's not a big deal to them. She's editing again, and she's talking about how she went back into the car, and she was just sweating profusely, of course. I mean, we all know this. We all know if you're sitting out there, you're completely covered, you're eating sugar. What do you think is going to happen? I can't, I can't imagine, like, what goes through her mind going out to do these things she's talking about basically you know not feeling good staring at him Sala being the hero of the moment saying go to the car and she's just continuing to eat it, it's it's difficult in a way to see somebody talk about how their diet is impacting not only their life, but the life of people that they love. And then continuing in the moment to do the things that are so bad for them. And he's clearly having to go grocery shopping for her. And she's like, you know, we make it work. You know, it's his job to go do all the grocery shopping. But the reality is Chantal is basically saying here, hey, I can't do all these things. So by default, it's my partner's responsibility. You know, that is, that is what ruins a relationship, a friendship, a partnership, because he's not doing things that he wants to do because he wants to do them. He's doing things out of necessity for his wife that is getting to the point where now she can't leave the house because she already can't leave the car. Do we, can we all agree that not being able to get out of the car is the, is the first step of not being able to get out of the house? Like, do we not learn from, you know, Amber and the other individual in this? You know, the, the car is not a safe haven of air conditioning. Because she's basically saying at this point, if the air conditioning in the car becomes inoperable, she's done going outside. As she... I would imagine only has about three bites left. Uh, in the beginning, I questioned she could take this whole plate down, but, I mean, here we are for a timestamp, 1835, and based on the bites she's been taking, I bet you there's more, no more than three or four here. I'll keep track, because now I've set a number in my head. I can't imagine how much pasta was there, either. It looked like an entire box. So, one bite... What did I say? Three or four? I'll give myself I'll give myself three. 
Oh, she made a new song. A love song for Salah. I wonder if it's about how incredible he is to go get all her groceries and sleep while she eats. You know what? I bet another part of this hole in the morning is because of all the noise outside. I bet you she real there's she's putting on more cheese. She's talking about watching him on video. Was this I, I guess I'm lost. Is she talking about a video like as she edited it? Or is she talking about like he went to the store with like FaceTime and was sharing the moment with her? Because neither one of them are good, but again, that's, you know, when you have to FaceTime at the store because your partner can't leave the house, two bites, by the way, and let me see if she can get this last in one bite. I, yeah, she can, because there's really not much there based on what the other bites were. I'm surprised that this meal, <laughs> surprised this meal didn't have garlic bread with it. That's not a shameless plug, by the way. A lot of times, you know, when you have spaghetti or any type of pasta, garlic bread is there. Maybe that's why you guys wanted me to do this. I mean, was this not kind of like an ode to me? We're now done. We're done the meal at the 20 minute and 30 second mark, basically. There was really also only about three embedded ads in this. And that's it. She knows. Like Once the meal's been eaten, there, there's no more left to talk about. She looks at the plate in pride, and she's talking about including Howie in the video. Again, this is something that could have easily been fixed in editing, and she's, you know, doing Howie face. And she says she doesn't want to move because, you know, she's eaten too much. And clearly she's dependent on Sala to you know, care for her. And you can just tell, like, she's just eating a lot. I mean, she looks miserable. She also is seeming to do a little bit of the shoe nice, you know, howie face, talking to herself in the third person. She's singing. She just seems very out of it in this video. Again, I really do get the impression of just going through the motions. You know, I this is what my, you know, her life has become. Wake up, eat, be goofy, hope people watch, and it pays the bills. And, you know, I don't know how often this is going to work. You know, this has been difficult for me to share with you and probably equally as difficult as anyone that watched. She's just cleared her cleared her mouth. So, or throat so loud again it, what are you editing <laughs> if you're not editing out you clearing your throat if you're not editing out you scraping the plate what is getting edited and and i feel like she doesn't know the time stamps in the video and she's like singing to fill time and she doesn't realize it's been 20 minutes because she was just eating and she knows we're clicking out of the video yet she leaves all of this in intentionally she thanks us for watching she looks absolutely miserable and does her cross eyes. All right. Well, listen, thank you for that. Uh, I cannot tell you how unenjoyable that was, but hopefully you got something watching it with me. I appreciate you watching this. And you know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.